Yo, what is up guys, TL Hardy here back with another video and today I'm gonna go over the best class in Warzone right now. Alright guys, we're gonna go over two classes, or two primary weapons, the MP7 and the M4. Um, the loadouts are gonna be the same, the secondary is gonna be the same, and uh, first off I'm gonna go over the two weapons, show the attachments, then I'm gonna go in and show the loadout and show the perks and explain why we use them. Alright guys, for the first gun we have the MP7. Um, for your muzzle, you definitely want the monolithic suppressor. Barrel, you want the FSS recon. Laser, you want the TAC laser. Underbarrel, commando foregrip. And ammunition, the 60 round mag. Uh, I definitely think the muzzle, barrel, underbarrel, and ammunition is all necessary. You need all of those attachments. Uh, the laser, you could swap out for something else. Uh, maybe uh, no stock or a rear grip. But recently, I switched to the TAC laser, and I like it a lot because it helps out with the hip fire situations, and it also increases your ADS speed. For the second weapon, we're going to go over the M4A1. Um, it's about the same as the MP7. You definitely want the monolithic suppressor. Uh, for the barrel, you want the M16 grenader. Um, under barrel, you definitely want the commando foregrip and ammunition. You could run 60 round mags, or you could run the 50 with 10 less bullets, but it reloads faster. I personally run the 60 round mags, but I know a lot of pros run the 50 round mags so they could reload faster. Um, it's same thing with the laser. Uh, laser's all preference. Um, sometimes I used to like to run uh, optic instead of a laser, but really it's all preference and whatever you guys like. All right, now we're going to hop into our full loadout and go over our secondary weapon, perks, lethal, and tactical. All right, as you can see, for our secondary weapon, we use the RPG. This is very useful nowadays since everyone likes to run vehicles and try to run people over. Um, the truck is usually two shots to an RPG, and every other vehicle is one shot to an RPG. So it's easy kills if you see a team running around in a car or they try to run you over. You just pull out your RPG, and especially one of the perks that I'm going to go over here in a minute, uh, it helps it out a lot, so I definitely suggest this. All right, now we're going to go over the perks. For perk one, I definitely think you need to run cold-blooded since this makes it harder for snipers to see you through thermal scopes. All right, for perk two, we're going to go over ghost, which is easily the most effective perk in the game. Um, you're undetectable to UAVs, radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. All right, for perk three, we're going to go over amped. I recently started running this. Um, I think it's very useful, especially if you're running RPG. You swap weapons faster, and it reloads your RPG 10 times faster. Um, another perk 3 that is also very good is Tracker. You can see the enemy footsteps if they like try to run away from you or something. But I highly suggest Amped. All right, for Lengthal, um, I like to run the Simtex. Um, if you're a sniper, you run overkill, you might want to run the Proximity Mine. Uh, if you're not running an RPG, it's probably best to run the C4 just to help blow up trucks if they try to run you over or something. But... Since I have an RPG and I really don't camp in houses as much, I personally like to use the Simtex. All right, for your tactical, I definitely suggest the heartbeat sensor. As long as the enemy team is not running ghost, you can see them on this radar. It's like a mini UAV. Uh, you just point it in the direction, north, east, southwest, and um, you can see up to 40 to 50 meters away, I think. Um, but I highly suggest it. It's like a mini UAV for yourself. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. If this helped you guys out in any way, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment future videos, which you guys would like to see. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.